Commonwealth Avenue, Tagalog, Avenida Comonwealth, formerly known as Don Mariano Marcos Avenue, Tagalog, Avenida Don Mariano Marcos, named after the father of President Ferdinand Marcos, is a 12.4 kilometers, 7.7 miles highway located in Quezon City, Philippines, which spans from 6 to 18 lanes and is the widest in the Philippines. It is one of the major roads in Metro Manila and is designated as part of Radial Road 7 R7 of the older Manila Arterial Road System and National Route 170 N170 of the Philippine Highway Network. Commonwealth Avenue starts from the Quezon Memorial Circle inside the elliptical road, and it passes through the areas of Filcoa, Tondong Sora, Balara, Batasan Hills and ends at Quirino Highway in the Novaliches area. The avenue, being located on Quezon City, which is listed as one of several cities in Metro Manila with high incidence of road accidents, has a high rate of accidents, especially related to overspeeding, and has gained the nickname Killer Highway. A 60 km per hour, 37 miles per hour speed limit is enforced to reduce the high rate of accidents on the avenue. Route Description Commonwealth Avenue follows a curving route from Elliptical Road to Quirino Highway, which includes the section named Fairview Avenue. The main segment, south of the roundabout with Doña Carmen Street, is characterized by partial control of access, where at grade intersections are replaced with interchanges and U-turn slots, and pedestrian crossings placed on overpasses or footbridges. The segment has 18 lanes, with 9 lanes per direction, excluding lanes allocated for buses and jeepneys. Fairview Avenue has six to eight lanes, with three to four lanes per direction, but intersections are mostly at grade, usually with traffic lights. Being located in Quezon City, which has a high number of road accidents, Commonwealth Avenue has a high incidence of accidents along with Quezon Avenue. The number of accidents in the avenue have lent its known nickname, the Killer Highway. MRT Line 7 the Mass Rapid Transit Line 7, MRT 7, which will connect with the Metro Rail Transit Line 3 at North Avenue Common Station, began construction in 2016. Most of the alignment of the MRT 7 will follow the center island of Commonwealth Avenue up to Regalado Highway. History the Commonwealth Avenue is divided to two portions, the 6-8 lane Fairview Avenue and the 18 lane Don Mariano Marcos Avenue. The Don Mariano Avenue was constructed in the late 1960s as a two-lane highway to offer a route towards the Batasang Pambansa complex. Quezon City was then the capital of the Philippines, and embassies were to be put up on the stretch of highway. Because the country's capital was moved back to Manila in 1976, other establishments were put up instead. The Don Mariano Marcos Avenue was later extended from the elliptical road to Calle España, now known as España Boulevard. The Don Mariano Marcos Avenue was later renamed into two parts, the Commonwealth Avenue and Quezon Avenue. Later Commonwealth Avenue regained the eight-lane Fairview Avenue, which ends in the Jordan Plains subdivision in Novaliches. In the 1980s, the road was widened into a six-lane highway. During the late 1990s and early 2000s decade, the avenue was prone to heavy traffic and accidents due to the increase in number of public transportation vehicles plying the highway, and sidewalk vendors crowding onto the road. In the late 2000s decade, the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority cleared the sidewalk vendors, especially in the Tondong Sora area, which was prone to heavy rush-hour traffic. Fairview Avenue uses stoplights and center island splittings in its intersections, while the Don Mariano Marcos Avenue uses interchanges in its intersections. The avenue is 18 lanes at its widest, and is the widest road in the Philippines, beating the old record set by EDSA. Linking to Quirino Highway on October 1, 2009, Quezon City Mayor Feliciano Belmonte Jr. announced his 15-year-old plan to link Commonwealth Avenue and Quirino Highway at the cost of P20 million to P140 million, which would be adjacent to Zabarte Road. The project was completed in May 2011 and is already operational. 60 km per hour speed limit implementation 
From May 2011, a 60 km per hour, 37 miles per hour speed limit is enforced on Commonwealth Avenue, following the death of Lords Estella Simbolan, a journalist, on a road accident in the avenue. On the first week of the speed limit implementation, 120 violators are apprehended after speeds of over 60 km per hour are recorded through speed guns. Intersections the entire route is located in Quezon City The list includes the section of the avenue named Fairview Avenue. Kilometers are measured from Rizal Park, the kilometer zero. Notable landmarks Commercial establishments and residential subdivisions have been built along the avenue. The avenue is also the location of government establishments like the Sandiganbayan, Commission on Audit and the Philippine Coconut Authority. Iglesia ni Cristo Central Temple The Central Temple of Iglesia ni Cristo is the main attraction along Commonwealth Avenue. The Iglesia ni Cristo is the largest entirely indigenous Christian religious organization that originated from the Philippines and the largest independent church in Asia. Aside from the Central Temple, two large chapels of the INC are also located in Commonwealth Avenue, Commonwealth and Capital. The Sandiganbayan The Sandiganbayan is a special court in the Philippines which was established under Presidential Decree No. 1606. Its rank is equivalent to the Court of Appeals. The court consists of 14 associate justices and one presiding justice. The Sandiganbayan building is located at Centennial Building, Commonwealth Avenue Corps. Batasan Road, Quezon City. The trials of former President Joseph Estrada were held there from 2001 to 2007. New Era University New Era University NOI, is an educational institution in the Philippines, run by the Iglesia Ni Cristo, Inc. This university is one of the largest non-Catholic universities in the Philippines with approximately 30,000 students. Its main campus is in No. 9 Central Avenue, New Era, Quezon City, in the central office complex of the Iglesia Ni Cristo. It has several branches around the Philippines, including one in San Fernando City, Pampanga, in Lipa City, Batangas and in General Santos City, South Cotabato. University of the Philippines Diliman The University of the Philippines Diliman, or UP. Diliman, is the flagship campus of the University of the Philippines. It is located in Diliman, Quezon City. It offers courses in liberal arts, social sciences, law, business and economics, natural sciences, engineering, music and fine arts among others. It offers the largest number of graduate and undergraduate courses among all the universities in the Philippines. In 2007, construction started on a 37.5-hectare technology park being developed by the Ayala Corporation inside the campus of the university near the avenue. The UP Ayala Technohub now hosts multinational corporations such as Convergis, IBM, HSBC, and Manulife. Quezon Memorial Circle The Quezon Memorial Circle is a national park and shrine located in Quezon City, former capital of the Philippines, 1948-1976. The park is an ellipse bounded by the elliptical road. The site was originally intended as the grounds of the national capital to be built in Quezon City. While the cornerstone for the structure was laid in 1940, only the foundations were in place when construction was interrupted by the beginning of the Second World War in the Philippines. After World War II, President Sergio Osmeña issued an executive order stipulating the creation of a Quezon Memorial Committee to raise funds by public subscription to erect a monument to his predecessor, President Manuel Luis Quezon. The height of monument stands at 66 meters, the same number as the age when Quezon died in 1944. Shopping centers There are a few shopping centers along the avenue. The first mall to open along the avenue is Evergotesco Commonwealth, which services people along the Commonwealth, Diliman and Batasan areas. There are also two malls serving the Tondong Sora area, Pure Gold Tondong Sora on the southbound lane and Berkeley Square on the northbound lane. The UP Ayala Land Technohub hosts amusement centers and restaurants, while a smaller mall, the City Mall, serves the Filcoa area near the University of the Philippines Diliman campus and caters mostly to commuters. 
Fairview Center Mall caters the Fairview area, while SM City Fairview and Robinson's Noveliches are in close proximity of the Jordan Plains terminus of the avenue. Last to be completed is Shopwise Commonwealth near Evergotesco. Pure Gold North Commonwealth was opened on the former site of the Fairview Wet and Dry Market. A Pure Gold Junior branch was also opened beside the Diliman Preparatory School campus. A Converges building along the Batasan area also hosts commercial centers. Other buildings and structures There are many schools located along the avenue, the National College of Business and Arts in Fairview, Our Lady of Mercy School, Diliman Preparatory School, and Lux Domini Academy which are located in the Batasan area. Also, car companies like Toyota, Kia Motors, Hyundai, Suzuki and Nissan have distributions in the avenue. There are also markets located along the road like the Commonwealth Market in Barangay Commonwealth. Also along the Fairview area is the La Mesa Dam which supplies water to Metro Manila. St. Peter Parish, Shrine of Leaders The St. Peter Parish is located in Commonwealth Avenue around Barangay Batasan Hills and was completed in 1999. It is a famous church in the Philippines as it is a replica of the original St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, Italy or Vatican City. See also Epifanio de los Santos Avenue House of Representatives Major roads in Metro Manila Quezon Memorial Circle References External links <laughs>